Here's a brand new box kit from our friends at Practical Publishing. Phil Martin is the designer, and his brand is called Sentimentally Yours. This is his third magazine and box kit. We call them that because they come in a box. There's a magazine, oh, but there's so much more. In fact, let me give you a peek. There are all of these stamps. Look at that. Let me see, there are a total of 53 stamps because not only do you get all of these, I particularly love the mermaid, but you also get these greetings and that just kind of completes the whole set so you can see all of the nautical ones you get. You also get a stencil and you also get a uh, cutting die so you can see how that has that really fun little banner and I will promise you that the stamps will fit inside it. So all of that is coming along with the magazine. So let's get into the magazine so you can see uh, what's included. As a matter of fact, there are also papers. That's what I've got marked up there. So we'll get to those in a minute. So this is going to show you really a nice overview of all the things that you're getting. There's a hint at the papers and to begin with what you can do with them. Now, what I do appreciate is, although nautical is kind of the theme, you also can do flowers, and there's papers in here to coordinate with that very feminine look, and that's nice to see. Like I said, I really do like the mermaid. I think she's really lovely. Fun to have some very masculine looks, too, as you would expect with nautical, perhaps. Here is a porthole look, and that's, that's a fun different look, and goes perfectly with all of these. This is an article about Phil giving you some information, and it's always nice to see, you know, that kind of up close and personal look. Here are some um, really coordinating with the papers, and you can see what they're going to do with them, and also giving you just a lot of ideas right at your fingertips, that's so nice. Here we have some different card styles. This is a tri shutter card, and it's nice to see that. Also nice to get the step-by-step -step instructions. And here are two more of uh, very unique cards, and that's nice to see. Here is a section called Terrific Techniques, and we can go right into it. You'll see a layered scenic focal image gives you step-by-step. -step. We've got a couple of examples there. That's nice to see. And here is another one where they've layered those stamps, which I think is such a great look. Now we get into the papers, and there are 16 papers with a ton of cutouts. And I particularly love this message in a bottle. That's really fun. So I'm going to show you all of them. They are double-sided. Those are the flowers I was talking about. And you will get a total of 16 of them. The uh, beginning of, or on the box, it says 32 pages. And that's true because when you look at a sheet of paper, it's one sheet, but it has two pages. So um, I think 16 is a better number to give you. Now, everything that I've shown you, you're gonna get a duplicate. So you're gonna get two of each for a total of 16 sheets, 32 pages. Now let's go back into what we have to see. These are called last minute, but I think that they're just really fun to see. And um, you can do some stamping, of course, using the stencil, of course, the cutting dies. And let me show you even more. Here we go. I thought this was really cute, also calling it mail order. Now this step-by-step -step is to accurately die cut the banners from the papers. So evidently those banners can be cut with the cutting die that's included, so that's nice. I loved adding that burlap right there. They call it hessian, but um, I think we know it better as burlap, so you can do whichever you like. And let me get you more. I thought this was just so, so pretty. I think this would also make just a lovely sympathy card. So you might want to take a look. There's that mermaid. And here is the message in a bottle. I thought that was really fun on this easel card. And another dimension is what they're saying. So just how to create this and make it work for you using all of these. And of course, don't forget, as you get all of these tips and tricks, you can use them with any sort of papers, dyes, anything you want. There's that mermaid again, just quite lovely. 
and this is a seascape, so it's gonna give you more kind of a mixed media look, so that's very nice to see. Fun to see it from simple to a little more involved. And then I thought this was really interesting, kind of making a little seaside um, piece right there. You could put it into a tall glass. And this is what we have, sentimentally yours. We are all about oceans and seas and mermaids and lighthouses and boats with stamps, stencil, cutting die, and more stamps. All of this is in stock now from our friends over the pond.